Hi there folks, it's Dr. Hammer here with a video tutorial on expanding algebraic expressions. So we'll get straight into it. First thing we want to look at is recapping the distributive law. A couple of forms we'll look at here. First one is this one here. So A times B plus C. We expand that out. We multiply those two together. We multiply these two terms together. So we get A times B plus A times C. And just remember that A, B is just a shorthand for A times B. A, C is just a shorthand for A times C. Okay, the other form is this one here, A plus B times C equals A, C plus BC. Let's put those into practice. So a couple of examples, straightforward one to start off with. So 3 times x plus 2. Remember, we need to multiply those two together. We need to multiply these two. We get 3 times x plus 3 times 2. And when we simplify, 3 times x is just written as 3x. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Okay, second example. We've got 5 times x minus 2 equals, again, multiply those two together, multiply those two together. What we've got to be a little bit careful with this time is the fact that we've got this negative here. So, when we multiply that, we get 5 times x, which I'll just write as 5x. Subtract, use that negative sign there, 5 times 2, which is 10. Okay, what if we've got more than two terms inside the brackets? So imagine we've got four lots of x squared plus 5x takes seven. That's fine. So apply the same process. Those two multiplied together, those two multiplied together, and oops, those two multiplied together. So we end up with four lots of x squared, which is four x squared. 4 times the 5 equals 20, so we end up with 20x, and 4 times minus 7 is minus 28. Okay, one last one. This time we've got an x in the term outside of the brackets, and we've got x and a y squared inside the brackets. So again, multiply those two together, multiply those two terms together, so 8x multiplied by x is 8x squared. 8x, and I'll write this out before I simplify it, 8x multiplied by y squared. So that gives us 8x squared plus 8x y squared. Okay, so you might want to stop at this stage pause the video just to practice a few questions involving this straightforward distributive law before we move on to the um, case where we're looking at expanding two brackets. All right, welcome back. So we're looking now at expanding two sets of brackets. So let's just start off by writing down the rule. So we've got A plus B times C plus D equals those two multiplied together, those two multiplied together, these two, and those two. So we've got A times C plus A times D plus B times C plus B times D. Now this is our familiar FOIL. So first, outers, inners, and last. So these are the first, these are the outers, these are inners, and these are our last. When we simplify that, it becomes AC plus AD plus BC plus BD. Okay, so let's put that into practice. So a couple of examples, a straightforward one to start off with. So we've got X plus 2 times x 
plus 5. We can if we need to. Just draw your lines connecting them. So that's equal to x times x, which we can write as x squared. x times 5, 5x. Remember, put the number out the front followed by the pro numeral. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 5 is 10. The next step is to look for any like terms. So in this case, there are like terms. So we've got x squared. We've got five lots of x here, another two lots of x. That becomes 7x plus 10. Now, careful here, we don't have any more like terms, so we can't simplify any further. So we are done at that point. Second example, x minus 3 times x minus 4. Again, same process. Line those up. So we've got x squared. X times minus 4 is minus 4x. Minus 3 times x is minus 3x. Minus 3 times minus 4 is plus 12. Remember, a negative times a negative equals a positive. Just be careful with that. So, collecting like terms. We've got x squared minus 4. Take 3 is minus 7x plus 12. Okay, one more. We've got 2x take 5. 4 take x. Okay, slight different order, same process though. Alright, so we've got 2x times 4, uh, take 2x times x, which is 2x squared, um, then we do this one, so minus 5 times 4 is minus 20, minus 5 times minus x is plus 5x, so 8x, take 2x squared, take 20 plus 5x, again, collecting like terms, Got a term with an x there, a term with an x there, equals minus 2x squared plus 13x take 20. What I've done there is written it in the form where we've got the x squared term first, then the x term, and then the constant. So this is what we call the form a x squared plus bx plus c. So always write it in that form. Okay, looking at a couple of special cases now. Difference of squares. We've got x take 5, x plus 5. Now we could do it using exactly the same method. But we'll see in a moment. We can do a bit of a shortcut. So notice here, we've got a negative 5 and a plus 5, so we've got negative number and then positive number. When we expand that out, we've got x squared plus 5x, take 5x, and then minus 5 times positive 5 is take 25. What happens is those two terms cancel each other out, and that will always occur when we've got a difference of squares like this. So that gives us x squared take 25, which if you like, you can write as x squared take 5 squared. So in general, if we have x take a number a, x plus a number a, that will always expand out to x squared take a squared. So that means what we can do here, when we've got a problem like this, we can skip straight from this to that line there. Okay, so easy little shorthand. Okay, next special case, perfect squares. So this is where we've got a term of this form, or an expression of this form, x plus 4 all squared. Again, well, that's the first step we do, write it in this form. So remember square, all we're doing is times in the same term by itself. Use FOIL.
and then simplify by collecting like terms. Now, what we should hopefully notice is that this number here is two lots of that number, and that number there is four squared. So, if we have more generally x plus a squared, we can expand that out as x squared plus two lots of the number times x plus the number squared. Again, that means we've got a shortcut, so I could go straight from this expression straight down to here by using this rule. Okay, a couple of harder problems just to finish off. Okay, this one is a question that seems to challenge quite a few. What I'd do first is put some extra brackets in here. Now remember our rules of bed mass, bod mass, we always do the operations inside the brackets first. So, looking at this one, just going straight back to our distributive law, so 5x and then 5 times 5 is 25. So we get 5x, take 25. Now, I'm going to leave that 4 out the front for the moment, keep my brackets there, and we're going to expand out the terms inside of the brackets. So we get x squared, take 3x plus 2x, and then 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Equals. Don't need to do anything with that term for the moment. I'm going to collect like terms in here. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. So we get minus x. Now, I can distribute this 4 across these terms inside of here. Remember though, we've got a negative 4. So again, the first two terms are the same. Minus 4 times x squared is minus 4x squared. Minus 4 times minus x is plus 4x. Remember, negative times a negative is a positive. Minus 4 times minus 6 is plus 24. Alright, collecting our like terms. So let's underline those. We've got x's. We've got some terms involving well, our constant terms. And then we've got a single term here involving x squared. Remember, we're going to write the x squared term first. So for minus 4x squared, the x terms. So 5x plus 4x is plus 9x. And then the constants, 25 plus 24 is plus 49. Okay, I think that will do us for now. What I'd like you to do is pause at this stage, go back over some examples. Um, particularly those from the test and if you need to go back rewind review certain concepts that you're not sure on okay hopefully this is helpful uh, catch you in the next video